Hey guys, welcome back. So to start off, we are going to duplicate the layer and mask the person. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to zoom in and mask and I'm also going to speed up this process because it takes a while. connect the last two dots as you can see and next you're going to duplicate the layer so once you do that you're going to position and change the opacity of the last two as you can see right now what I'm doing so just follow along next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that layer I just did and change the position to the opposite side So now that you did that, you are going to add TV damage, and yes, you do need the Safari plugin for this. You can also change the settings to the TV damage if you like, but I'm going to leave it like that because I think it's fine. So now you're going to click on the second layer and add stroke to it. You're going to increase the brush size to however you want, as you can see right here. You will now add four gradient and change to whatever color you like. You can make it multiple or just one color, like I'm doing right now. After that, you're going to add auto paint and glow to the second layer. You're then going to add a solid layer of the same color as the stroke. You're going to add CC draw to the solid layer and adjust the setting like I'm doing right now. You can play with the settings like I'm doing right now. It's your choice of how you want it. You're then going to search up texture link to it, I don't want to see it, but you're going to add it to the solid layer and change the colors to the color that you want like I'm doing right now. Next, you're going to add an, another layer, which is a text layer, and put the text that you want. Usually, you can put your lyrics or whatever you want. You're then going to add a four color gradient to the text to change the color. I then adjust the text to where you want it. You can scale it up, you can move it wherever you want, like I'm doing right now. And after that, you're going to add wave wrap. So when you increase the wave width more, it becomes less wavy, and that's how, how we're kind of like looking for, or however you want, but you can copy my settings like. I then add glow to the text as well to make it look a bit more shimmer and for this you need the Safari plugin and for the brightness I lower it a little bit but it's totally up to you. You're then going to right click, press on layer style and press drop shadow and as you can see right now you're going to carry it down and put pink for the drop shadow instead of black or however you want but that's what I chose. So you have now finished the thumbnail and you can, like right now I'm doing, you can adjust whatever you want. I'm adjusting the background, everything, as you can see what I'm doing. This is totally optional, but you can highlight all the clips and pre-compose them. And then after you can add looks, add a coloring, whatever you want to it, like I'm doing. After that you have finished the thumbnail so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed please like and subscribe for more content like this i love to hear you when you complain about your best friend how she's so late and as you're talking i start thinking all the details start to sink in